Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome to the channel and good lord almighty, I'm using the wrong SD card. Okay, hi, we're back. <laughs> As we should be. I'm currently on sprints, which is why I'm checking behind y'all because it's, you guessed it, behind you. Um, but I need to update you on some reading already right off the bat. It is 2.33 p.m. on a Monday. I am editing today's weekly vlog. Well, last week's filming of the weekly vlog. Tomorrow it's going up and I just finished it. Praise. Then I need to edit the spend the day with me vlog that I'm putting up on Thursday. So I'm going to do that next while listening to an audiobook. But for right now, I need to update you that I just finished an audiobook. So the first one that I finished this week is Just the Nicest Couple. And I have to say, I don't like what the twist was. But I loved this book. Like, it was so good. Okay, what's happening is, first of all, this is the same author as Local Woman Missing, and if y'all know anything about me, and if you don't, we're not friends. No, just kidding. But for real, like, I, I have talked about it a lot. I loved Local Woman Missing when I read it. I listened to the audiobook. I highly recommend that. Paired with the physical book. I think that if you only listen to the audiobook, it's a little confusing as far as timelines go. It takes a lot of time to kind of adjust to how it's shown in the book, but if you read it just physically, you don't get the ambiance of the book. I don't know how to explain it. Just trust me, bro. So she's written a new book. Of course I had to pick it up. I've had it for a while, just haven't read it yet, and I decided on a whim last night. I'm gonna listen to this audiobook. My library has it already ready to check out. That's pretty rare. My library typically, it doesn't have a long, long hold. It's usually like two to four weeks of a hold because they'll have like 10 to 15 copies of a book, and there's just a lot of people using it. So I was like, this is a sign from Big Man Upstairs. So I'm doing it. I'm reading it. I'm listening to it. I am losing it, is what I'm doing. It was like 11.45. I look over at my little my little hatch that we unboxed last week. I'm obsessed with it, by the way. I looked over and I'm like, is that clock wrong or am I wrong? Because here's the thing, it felt like 10.45 because it's daylight savings. I hate it. Just because it messes with like my, I feel like it's I feel like it's mindful warfare. It, I don't understand. I don't like it. Is that called psychological? I don't think it's mindful. I think I meant psychological. Whatever. Anyways, it makes it to where I'm like, I don't know what time it is. I feel so disoriented. I'm like, what year are we in now? Have we gone backwards or forwards? I don't know. I was listening to this and I got halfway through and I just wanted to stay up and finish it all night, but I knew that I was going to have to like, you know, actually get up and do these sprints in the morning and da 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 da. So I didn't let myself, but I did just finish it on the sprints and I have to say absolutely worth it. 100% recommend the audiobook for this one. There's not a confusing timeline. We only have two points of view that we're hearing from. So the plot of it, probably what you're wondering, is there is these two women. They work together. They're like little pals, both married. One of them has a husband that's gone missing. The other one knows what happened to her husband and isn't telling her. And you get the point of view of the husband who is married to the person that knows what happened to the other person's husband and then you get the point of view of the wife whose husband has gone missing and it is done so well i think that choice of point of view was so confusing at first but done so well i loved it the tension in here is written so well like it is i don't know how to like explain this but i feel like the tension in here was written to be listened to you know to like have the story told to you versus read to you i because I, I, I just don't think i would have felt this much tension had i not been listening to it with these noise canceling headphones at 10 o'clock at night in a dark room while everyone in the house is asleep except for me like it was so scary. I had trouble falling asleep afterwards, which to me is a marker of a good book because <laughs> it like had an impact. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely back into my thriller zone. Y'all will be happy to know. I am looking out of what I want to read next. I'm not really sure. I may put up a little poll and see. Um, I kind of want to read The Maid. But that, I was going to do like a specific video for that one. So I don't really know if it's her time yet but i may ask the sprinters with me sprinterinos if they know any thrillers i should read but what i should also mention i'm, I'm wanting to listen to one so i want one that's like good you know 
Audible wise. Obviously, probably by now I have found one to read, but if you have any recommendations right now, let me know. But um, I did also just happen, let me show you. Let me, let me show you what just showed up. Mm hmm. Do you see that? Can you see that? Can you see it? Hello? Angels? I know angels. Okay, so now I'm like, Maybe I'll read that one physically, and I'll listen to a fantasy book. I don't really know, because remember I was going to read A Day of Fall and Night this week, but I'm more in the mood for like a high-intensity, yet cozy feeling. So I picked up this one, The Adventures of Amina. I don't know how to pronounce the name yet. I'm going to listen to the audiobook, so I will know by the next time I update you. This is um, Shannon Chakraborty's newest book, and I love the David Bod trilogy. I have to read Empire of Gold, and I was thinking about picking that one up, but I might do that one in April. But I just wanted to pick it up because I wanted to finish it before I started this one, just in case. But I won't know if it's a spoiler in here because I won't know what happened in there. So anyways, it doesn't matter. Literally doesn't matter. But... I am very excited to read this one. I know that it's about a woman who is a mother, so, you know, in that case, like, her story's done or whatever, uh, is what the narrator is saying here. It's so, oh, I love it so much already. It's so sassy. I bought the audiobook from Audible, and I'm really liking the way it's told because it sounds like an interview style. If you've listened to Daisy, Daisy Jones and the Six, the way that they did the interview style of that, or Evelyn Hugo, they have the same thing of this, but it's an epic fantasy. It's hilarious. I love it. And so she's this just like, you know, chilling middle-aged woman, just living her life. She's had her adventures in her youth, but she's not done living. She's just starting on a new chapter. We all do it. And... I think that she's gonna get back to her adventuring. I don't know quite yet. I'm only a little bit through chapter one so far, but I'm really liking the narration style. I'm really liking the voice that the main character has, um, Amina. Like, she is very funny. And I like her, like, sassy little quips to whoever is, like, recording her or whatever, because she's like, oh, d did you want to tell us? No, you, you wanted me to? Okay, well, then be quiet. Like, <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. So I'm having a good time with this. I'm kind of in the mood to listen to a book and just do my little word search game after I finish editing and just kind of like have a chill afternoon. So that might be what I end up doing with these. Plus, I know some of the people that I love their sprints are probably sprinting tonight. So I may tune in and continue listening, but I'll check with you guys later. As always! As a young girl, it feels I literally can't stop staring at this. I'm breaking the fourth wall B-roll, but guys, oh my god. So offshore, playful and free. Without a care in the world, I was one rich little girl. Daydreamer, kidnap me. Take me back, all the way back to them days. Running around in a gown and a crown, barefoot. Ignore the microwave. First of all, this shirt, because I'm trying to summon Halloween. Can you tell? I have already started planning my summer ween. TBR. Yes. Um, I'm microwaving my Panera that just got here because I, I just like things extra hot. But I have something sacrilegious to say, so. I saw your ears perk up. As a Texan. This is Panera. They have Pepsi products. I just took the best episode in my life and it's Pepsi. It feels wrong to say, but it feels so right. But okay, let me show you. Making my way downtown. So this is the little Panera bowl that my partner gets. So I'm copying because of course I am. And it is so good, you guys. Like, very excited. 
Very happy. Now I'm gonna go watch Zavid. Just to update you, I did finish um, You Shouldn't Have Come Here and I shouldn't have read it. Uh, I'll update you later on specifics, but the cover is really pretty. <laughs> Bit of paper left under the pool of coffee. Try to remember what I wrote, and you just laugh. We better have a talk, think it might last until. Okay, hello. So we are seated in the place of reading. I don't. I'm gonna build something with that. I just haven't decided what. But that is not what we're doing. Oh, can I just for a second? Any people who are out there who like need a tripod in their lives? creators, people who also use tripods. I don't know who else would. This one is absolutely amazing. So it does that, but you can also, you know, like obviously adjust it if you want it taller. But this thing, the way it screws on and it's got a ball head. So like, you know what I'm saying? Review, I'll link it down below is what I'm saying. I just have been using it for two weeks and I'm obsessed with it. So I just wanted to say, alert, alert, new tech alert. I don't know. What is happening? My brain is like barely functioning, but I'm still trying to make things work, so yes. But I wanted to update you on what I'm reading. I'm now in a fantasy mood, but I'm not in one type of fantasy mood. I am in multiple types of fantasy mood. And this top book, I blame Books with Brittany. If you're listening, this is your fault <laughs> in the best way possible. So I started watching her vlog and I was thinking, I looked, when I was walking this morning on my little walking pad for the brain goblins, I was like, these beautiful editions are right next to me. I want to reread these three so bad so that I can read the next two that I have and then be ready for the next in July. If you're a sci-fi reader, you already know what I'm bringing up. But I started her vlog and she mentioned this and I was like, that's a sign. That is a sign. I am taking it as that. So I am reading Red Rising um, via audio, but also I am looking upon this edition. This is the Fairy Loot edition. They are some of the prettiest books I own. My voice completely changed. They are honestly the hardest books I've ever had the time like finding other than the David Bod trilogy. If anyone's still out there, you know, wants to help a, um, you know, a me in need. I'm here, but this quote, I just listened to him say on the audiobook and it was chilling, like in the best way. I feel so goofy because sometimes I'll reread books and I don't get the same feeling as I did the first time I got, you know, when I was reading it. This is not the case. I'm literally, let me check because, oh, well, you're actually on my phone because I'm not using the tripod. I have you on a pillow because I'm ingenious and also in pain. And so I didn't want to sit on the floor to <laughs> record this because I'm also old. I don't even think I'm, I don't even, let me just find my spot in here so I can tell you because I was just listening to it a little bit. I am in part one, chapter one. I think I literally have only listened to this paragraph. I feel the exact same way. I'm like, oh my God, this is the beginning of a series I'm going to love. And I do. I do. I still remember when I finished this book and this one is, I don't know if he meant to do this or what, but the fact that it's not even 400 pages, it's barely 350. There's something about that length for a first book in a fantasy sci-fi series makes you want to go to the next one right away. I've, it has worked on me every single time because it doesn't feel like you spent long enough in this world to really feel exhausted of it yet. For example, with Malice by John Wayne, loved it, great book. Excited to get to the next three, but I feel like I spent a good amount of time in there that I'm ready to like, you know, go to another vacation spot for a little bit before I come back. So I'm just making my rounds on the world and I'll come back and read that book probably honestly in like, I'm feeling end of July, August. And that's just kind of how I work with series, but that's because they're longer. With this, it was, it's just the, the perfect length. And I still remember reading Morningstar and I was listening to it. And I just, the ending of it, that's the third book. I was just like crying. Golden Sun, I think is, if I remember correctly, is my favorite in the original trilogy. But again, I have not read Dark Age or Iron Gold yet. So we'll have to see what I think of those. But I do hope Fairyloot is gonna be doing the next three like this. I would assume that they're just waiting for that third one to come out to do the next three so they can do it in chunks. 
that makes no sense to me. I'm really nervous because I did buy this from one of y'all. So like, first of all, thank you. I love you the most. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to snag the next three because I did not buy the original set. So I'm not going to get that email. But we're, we'll worry about that later. I'll probably have to buy through the secondhand ones. That's okay. That's okay. But I did want to also show you this beautiful Dark Dawn bookmark that I'm using. It is from Illumicrate. I love Nevernight. That whole trilogy, another good trilogy. Like, oh man, I just feel like I'm in a very nostalgic mood for books that I've loved. And so I'm rereading some, or I'm getting back into series that I loved and now I'm moving on with them. Um, but it is getting like raining gloomy. So I'm just in the mood to listen to something. But I think my nightly book, because I always have a book that I am listening to specifically on audio, one that I am, you know, I could read physically, could do audio. And then the other one that I am just reading physically at night to get away from the blue screens. Update on the hatch, absolutely obsessed with it. I love it. It's making me put down my phone more closer to bed because I don't need my phone to operate it. The thing I didn't like about Alexa was I played my um brown noise machine through my phone on a youtube video so i had to look at my phone to turn it on but on the hatch you just press the good night button or the good morning button you know whichever one and it works magnifique love it so my book that i'll be pairing with my sleep sleep is the righteous by renee audier this is actually on my tbr the other two that i the one that i've mentioned surely not the one I will mention, on a technicality, we'll talk, but The Righteous is the third book in Rene Audier's quartet, I think it is to be. Uh, the last one coming out in December. This is, you know, the first book is The Beautiful, The Damned. These are vampire books set in New Orleans in the 1800s, I want to say, and it's very good. I love it a lot. If you liked the originals, um, but you also like the Victorian era, this is literally made for you. Um, basically, if you're me, <laughs> this is made for you. I know that this one is following Odette, who I always think of Swan Lake. So we're gonna be tweeting with Odette and we'll see what's going on. But Kirkus tells me this is decadent escapism and that's what I'm looking for because I have my dentist appointment on Thursday. So we're just gonna do a little bit of that action and see <laughs> if he listens. Uh, the next one I have is The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. We're getting closer. I've already talked a little bit about this. I haven't gotten any further in. Well, that's a lie. I'm on chapter two. <laughs> so technically, I made it past the prologue and chapter one. This is the one that I am doing with the audiobook. And if I would like to read along physically, I am. But I really like whenever it's, you know, names that I may not know how to pronounce. Like, obviously, I had to listen to know this one or just places I'm not familiar with that I don't see a lot in the books I read. I feel like a lot of the fantasy that I read or have read in the past, currently I don't feel like I read it as much, but in the past I would read a lot of medieval or Norse based ones and I got very used to those. And so now I'm branching out and trying different ones and I don't know all of the terms as much. So I like to listen to the audiobook because it's more immersive for me personally to listen and to read at the same time, but also it is helpful with pronunciation. And then for me, I need to hear it as well as see it for it to like click how to pronounce that word. If I don't, the pronunciation is just like floating and I don't know what word it's attached to. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it does to me. I feel like that was just like A plus description. <laughs> of course I did because I did it. But yeah, these are... These are the contenders for now. Could this change? Absolutely. Um, I am doing a readathon this weekend with my bestie Lexi from Alexandra Rosalind, and this fell for no reason. And we are going to be reading all thrillers and cozy mysteries. Exciting times. And I'm probably going to do mainly cozies and just do two books for the three days. But I, you know, I really want to read these. So I'm like, technically there was a serial killer in the first book of this series. Does that count? There's a really crazy guy in this one that I absolutely adore because of course I do. Hello. Yeah, there's that. Now let's talk about the tragedy that I read. That's so dramatic. It wasn't that bad, but um, don't ask me a star rating. 
I'm not doing star ratings anymore. I don't know honestly what I would rate this. And when I was thinking about it, I was like, oh, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to think about that because I'm not doing them anymore. And the relief I felt. But this book, you shouldn't have come here. Here's the problem. The Perfect Marriage. I read that. So this is the order that I've read the three books I've read by this author in. One of Us is Dead, which was about the bougie buckhead ladies from not Alabama. Where y'all from? Georgia. And it's like rich people drama with some murder sprinkled in. Okay, fab. Even when it was boring on the thriller aspect, the rich people drama was enticing. So it was good. It balanced it out. The ending was like just badly done. It doesn't, it wasn't bad enough to cancel the whole book. Okay. Then we have The Perfect Marriage. The longer I think about that book, the more I actually liked it. So I think I liked The Perfect Marriage more than One of Us is Dead. This book is dead last. <laughs> Pun intended. It was so not good. So the whole plot and premise is that this woman from New York just wants to get out for a little bit. She, she goes to Wyoming. No shade to Wyoming. But I know, I know someone who lives there and I don't know. I don't know if I'd go to a ranch in Wyoming. I'm just saying. But she does. <laughs> she does. Because of course she does. And it's actually Star Ranch. No, I'm just kidding. But she does go to this ranch and it's on Airbnb, which I already think Airbnb is scary, like in real life. I think she's brave. Is it bravery though? I don't know. But she does it. And it's not that she's renting out a house. She's renting out a room and this guy's house. I'm sure it happens. I'm sure it's safe sometimes. I'm paranoid. When I tell y'all I was raised on 2020 and Dateline, like I'm really not kidding. I simply would never, like I, I well I don't, I just stay home. <laughs> so she goes and does this, has her little, you know, adventure in Wyoming with the yaks and she starts to have some weird things occur. The guy's a little bit of a creepy one, but he also is described kind of like Alexander Skarsgård. So I don't know what I would do either, but it, it was so slow paced because it was, it was really weird. It was really weird because it was paced in the way that you would pace a romance novel. It wasn't thrilling at all. There was like two creepy moments and there was one moment where uh, the cop showed up and I was like, ooh, here we go. We're getting started. No, dud. It was, it was over and gone like within five pages. I was like, okay, fair enough. There's some drama between the family and there's some drama between them. It's just all, it was just all like the pacing was so weird and it wasn't that it was unbelievable because I will suspend disbelief many occasions in books, but it just was like not done well. I don't know how to describe it. It just wasn't good. And uh, I'm sad about it because I love this cover. Like I really genuinely do. And my friend and I were going to go to the signing, but I don't think I'm going to go because I just didn't love it. But I did love the perfect marriage. And I liked one of us is lying. One of us is dead. One of us is lying is also a good book, but one of us is dead is what I'm talking about. I really liked those two. Is it bad if I just go buy those copies of books and get them signed? <laughs> I won't do that because I, I would feel so awkward. I wish, I wish I had liked this more. It just, here's the real problem. <laughs> I actively, okay. My mom actively tries to guess the twists when she reads the books. I know a lot of people do that. I know other people just beep bop along. I don't do that either. I actively try to not guess it. Like I try to be such a bystander just watching it unfold like a movie because it's more fun for me that way. And I think coming off of reading Just the Nicest Couple, which I really liked, and Angel Maker, which I really enjoyed, and then reading this one, which is, like this, you know, we were here, we were here and boom, like that's just what it felt like. And now I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a breather from thrillers, obviously, as you can see, just showed you three sci-fi fantasy. I don't know, I, I would recommend, this is who I'd recommend it to actually. If you're predominantly a romance reader and you wanna get into thrillers, highly recommend, especially, and this is not shady, I know some people, are shady about Verity by Colleen Hoover. I haven't read anything else by Colleen Hoover. I don't plan to read anything else by Colleen Hoover, but I did read Verity for a book talk vlog that I did. And I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was very gripping. I thought it was very interesting. I thought it was very fast paced. Is it like a work of literature? I mean, I don't know who's to say. Probably not, I guess, but it was, Enthralled. Like it was really good. I really liked it. I'd love to see it as a movie. I think it would be absolute chaos and insanity and it would be amazing. I thought it was a great time. I think if you liked Verity, you have not yet read any of the thrillers. 
you might like this. The problem with this is like, I guessed the twist and I actively tried not to and I still was right. Cause I was like, oh, it's probably this. Like as a joke, like a hee hee ha ha. And then it was literally that. All right, awesome. <laughs> To me, it just wasn't a good twist is why I'm saying that because it didn't make sense. It could have been such a good twist, but there were no other clues, no other clues. And I think that she tried to do like a double twist of like, oh, you guessed it, but did you guess this one? And I was like, yeah, I did. And you kind of wasted the time with the first twist because it was like obvious. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I did not like it um, that much, but I think I guessed it because I have read other thrillers that have a similar twist that personally, I think for what I like in my taste in thrillers, did it in a way that I thought was better, just in the lead up. Because I think the best thing about a thriller is when you get to the twist and you're like, oh my God, no way. But then you look behind you, it's like all the breadcrumbs were there and it totally makes sense. I think that's the marker of a good one. Um, this did not have that. I was just confusion, so. Anyways, that's a lot of talking about books. Let me show you some candles. <laughs> so this will be really quick because I do just want to show you um, Miss Novel Wicks sent me the newest scent that I am obsessed with. I just need to, it smells so good, but this is a new release that she has coming. So I will link her down below my code, all the goods, but it is Gilmore Girls themed. I don't like Gilmore Girls. I don't know anything about Gilmore Girls. I tried to watch it and actually I couldn't stand this character. So I haven't watched any more of it and I don't plan to, but this one smells like books. It smells like heaven, okay? I haven't been lately, but from what I can remember. And then this one smells like chamomile, lavender tea. Emily looks a little sassy. I think I would be Emily. Um, and then there is Luke's, which is, smells like pie. And it is very cute. This artwork that she got done is very, very cute, I think. And then the last one she sent me, I'm just showing you because I love myself. It's Rowan Whitethorn. <sighs> yes. My go-to scent. Well, actually, the ones that I would recommend the most if you're a new novel wicks girly. The new one, I'd recommend books. Very good spring scent. I think I'm going to light it actually in just a second when we're done with this clip. And then Rowan Whitethorn, if you want a clean, piney, woodsy smell, very nice. Even if you don't know who Rowan is, fix that. But also it's a great smell. And then horror. Horror is my go-to. Horror is like the scent, the signature scent of this channel. I love it so much. I burn it every summer ween. It just reminds me of the weens. I love it. And then last thing is I have fairy loot because yeah, I do. The thing also like, I don't know if my shipments are just behind or what, but like, I feel like all my Illumicrate, all my fairy loot, all my girl Goldsboro are like held in one place and then all of a sudden they just send them all out and it looks like I just <laughs> have so many books, but I'm like, no, I promise. I did not buy that many at once. Although I did just buy the Raven Boys set and I'm not sorry about that. I'm, I love the original Raven Boys covers and I got rid of mine because I bought these recovers, but now I get to have the original covers with beautiful, <sighs> Spines? Are you kidding? Like, come on. Anyways, this is the newest fairy loot book, I think, unless I'm lying, but then that's not true, but I don't know. So this is City of Nightmares. I don't know how I feel about this cover compared to the um, US one. I think I might like the US one better, but I do like this color scheme. It's very cute. It's very pretty. I want to know why there's pterodactyls though. I think that's important to establish why that's there. There are the pterodactyls, if you can like kind of see that. But I really would like to know, ever since her sister became a man-eating spider. So I guess this is a city where nightmares are happening. Whose nightmare is a pterodactyl? I feel like they would just be the definition of just like minding their business. I'd be scared of the T-Rex. Unless you can get a s small spot and their little arms can't get you. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to listening to Red Rising and uh, I will probably see you guys in a little bit. And by that, I mean tomorrow. Um, I do have a live show tomorrow for Hellbent, but after that, I think I'm gonna dedicate the day to just listening to Red Rising or reading The Righteous physically because again, Thursday is dental day and I'm not at all excited about that. Like not in the slightest at all. I really think it's goodbye.
ready? Go, 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 go! <laughs> I gotta say, so I was inside watching just some booktube because I just felt like, I felt like watching people read but not actually reading. I don't know how to explain that. And it started raining and I just love, I just love storm season. I really do. Um, but I came out here to check on Annabeth just because I'm paranoid. Um, but there are a lot of mosquitoes. So I think I'm actually probably gonna call our bug guy and be like, hey, is it time for the next round? I think it is. I think March is when he comes, but I don't know when. So I need to check on that because I don't, I don't like mosquitoes. We don't, we don't. Happy Thursday. I'm home from the dentist. Let's see how long it takes Jake to know the door's open. There he is, right on time. I'm coming out here because I wanted to. Also, I was watching Brittany, Books with Brittany, because we're besties. She totally knows that. She and her boyfriend were talking about how he was, God, it's so windy. I hope you can hear me. How he was wearing the same shirt in the like next day clip and basically about how people have home shirts and home sweatshirts. And that made me think like, I really do feel the only reason I feel like people feel they can't repeat outfits or can't wear things multiple times is because I see so many influencers, I don't know if y'all like this, but specifically beauty fitness, where they never repeat anything. I swear to God, they have different sets every day. And I'm just like, how? How do you do that? First of all, how do you go to the gym every day? Second of all, how do you do that? Mainly, at home sweatshirts are a thing. Like this is my one for the week. <laughs> It's not even a full week, but it is like this is just the one that I when I get home I put it on and probably in about 20 minutes I'm gonna take it off and then go walk on my walking pad read my book and drink my coffee You know what I mean? Like so that's my disclosure <laughs> Also because I feel the pressure to disclose that but I wanted to come out here to visit Annabeth and I thought Y'all should get to see her too because she is a beautiful creature and it is looking like storms right now. Like it's not super dark or anything. Let me see if I can like lower the brightness to what it actually looks like. So it's not super dark. It's just kind of, I mean, it's like 1 p.m. This is what it looks like. But we put some wood over just so that she could eat today and be out. I like to let her stay outside as long as possible. But I don't know if you can see what she's creating here. And I'm not really sure what it means. But <laughs> she has like this dirt that she's kicked up so that she can just sit up like this. I don't really know why. I don't know what it does. You can see that she ate all of her food and she's been bathing and splashing that water around. So I'm going to let it open so that the rain will wash it out and then I can refill it and clean it tomorrow. But uh, yeah, this is like her little storm shelter setup because she usually sleeps not in this house, but under it. So this covers that. And then this covers all of her food and like little run around area she usually uses. Um, but because there's supposed to be hail tonight, she will be coming inside with me probably around four to five because that's usually when the storms start. Yeah, just in case. But there's, there's the little lady just hanging out. I don't know what she's doing, but she's doing something. <laughs> Bless you. And here we have Jake's pre-rain ritual. I don't know what it means, but it's every time. <laughs> right, Jake? Right? Yeah. Okay, the dishwasher is running because I just did it. Not to brag, but I also wanted to show you the coffee haul I got. She's annoying. She likes attention. Just what it is. But I got Chamberlain coffee, of course. So I just got, this is our, well, for sure my favorite of it. Uh, just the fluffy lamb vanilla and then this espresso one is so good too like i really don't know what's my favorite this is good for the homemade brown sugar shaken espresso but this is good for like um happiness and joy and life and the such you know what i mean <laughs> you're probably like no that made no sense then this is one that i wanted to try i have not tried this hazelnut blend yet but we're gonna see if it's good and then i also ordered another of the vanilla matcha because I've been really loving this one a lot. So that's my little coffee order. Cute. And now we're gonna make an actual coffee, so. 
It's my daily vlog angle. Oh my God, when worlds collide, I'm here to open a box because I got a new, yes, I needed it. I will not be taking questions at this time. I actually did two things. I got this cup and then I also, this is my spring summer cup. Okay, there's logic somewhere, <laughs> but I got that. And then I also bought these little straw covers because I realized that I don't love that the straws are just exposed at all times. So those will be coming tomorrow and I'll show you them when they are here because they are also very cute. But I got another Stanley and this one is like a it's I don't even know if it would be a lime green to be honest though my little sister and I had our room painted this exact color I feel during our like entire adolescence but this is the quencher h2.0 I'm not even gonna pretend like that's not cute that's adorable um one of my favorite commentary drama commentary channels was just talking about these today if you watch the viewer's voice you know um I didn't know that influencers were getting paid a lot of money for these. How do I how do I get on that? Just asking for a friend, not for me, just for a friend. No, but for real. Um, I didn't know that people, <laughs> there was like a thing. I also didn't realize there was a community that hated these because I don't know. Um, the videos that they showed, I think if you tilt your cup like this at any time, I'm not really sure why you think gravity's not gonna take over. I have not had that issue. Have I set this on my couch and then it toppled over and spilled some? Yes. So has a normal, so has every other cup to be honest. So have I. <laughs> but this one has like this mechanism right here. Like this is new. So I'm wondering if that's like Stanley's answer, if he's clapping right on back to these people, but I just think it's really cute. I like the color combo, so. Spring 2023. You don't know it, but I'm also wearing my, uh, these Birkenstocks. I was also influenced by Peter Mon to buy those, but this was influenced all by myself because I can't be helped. Now let me go make my coffee. <laughs> So it is um, loud here on the, the household because I have the ice machine is making ice and then the dishwasher's going. But I wanted to update you on my reading because that's why we're here. Uh, I am reading Red Rising, rereading it, and I am absolutely loving it. I flew through this thing. This was in one day, flew through it. And then last night I read like a little bit more, but I am on page 210, which I read some of this at the dentist this morning. So I'm not a hundred percent sure where I'm at in the audiobook because I'm still at obviously the chapter I stopped on last night. But let me tell you, so with the hatch machine thingy, you press the good night button to start your good night routine. And then you press the like wake up one to start your morning routine. Um, unless you like have an alarm that starts it for you. I am not sure on the morning portion because I sleep with a face mask on. So I can't really see the light. So I'm gonna have to try to get myself used to sleeping without a face mask on, but I really like sleeping with a face mask. Look, I didn't used to, I never had in my life, but I started to in this house because I didn't feel like getting curtains. Cause I don't like the look of curtains with the way that we have our windows. So I just didn't want them. So I like the natural light. I like as much natural light as humanly possible. I don't know if you can tell. Anyways. I uh, have these, the hatch thing, and I press the button. And so I plug in my phone across the room because I'm trying to get my phone, like basically I'm off of it by 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. So I was listening to my audiobook, had it just, you know, on the headphones, and then that way I could pause it from my watch and whatever. So I did that. And I was just listening to it at night, following along in the book while, you know, the house routine was going on and it was playing a little calm music in the background. Oh my God, I just saw something on the corner of my eye, but no one's there. Spooky, calming music. And then it transitions into like the brown noise, thunder, rain machine thing that I selected for at night. And it's just amazing. Like I, I am in love with it. So I just wanted to report <laughs> that it's still going great, still loving it. 
just got to figure out because my partner this morning said that they actually really liked the waking up to like the sun sunlight from the machine but i i woke up to the sunlight from the machine after i took my face mask off <laughs> but before that couldn't have told you that it was on because i was knocked out but that's a, honestly that's a testament for how good the eye mask thing is so anyways uh it's getting a little doomy a little gloomy outside it's getting windier and it's getting warmer so if you're from the south you know what that means and oh cool 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 mm, we um actually do now have a tornado watch until 8 p.m so i am probably gonna go back outside and i'm just gonna listen to red rising and hang out with annabeth let her run around drink my coffee just kind of do that and then if i have to bring her inside i will if it doesn't look like it's too bad then i won't but i just want to let her like get out she loves running in the grass you know what though i did just buy her her new bathtub that's what i should do is i should soak her today before the storm and then she can run around outside that's the plan and you're coming with so let's go Not like that. <laughs> Please balance well. Lord, it is just a constant struggle. So, let's do a little bit of this angle. There you go, that's a little bit better in the lighting. Not much though. There we go. So it's starting to a rumble, which is what I just showed y'all. And so that's fun. But I'm going to go ahead and finish up this book tonight, I think. I am, let me get my hand dry so it doesn't get this book wet. But I am on chapter 37 page 305 now and i i mean i'm loving this also i honest to god picked such a fantastic time to read this because i was gonna read it probably last year at some point i was gonna try to reread all of the original trilogy like i am currently and then read the next two and i have to say like i picked such a good time to do it because i do not remember any of these twists i really don't the audiobook experience is definitely good if you have the physical alongside it. If not, I don't know how much I'd recommend a solo audiobook experience unless you are like an audio only listener, which, or reader rather, uh, which totally makes sense. And I am that way for several genres, like nonfiction, which I did just put a hold on a true crime nonfiction book for my library and I should be getting it soon. I'm very excited for that. Anyways, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go finish this tonight. I am letting my headphones charge right now in case we lose power because I'm not convinced we won't. So I am going to read this physically probably. I only have, I wanna say this is like yeah, I have about 70 pages left, which is kind of mind blowing because I read this in two days, which I think I did read the first one, the first round of it in a similar pacing, but I don't know why. I just didn't expect it to go that fast this time. Um, and I am, so for the rest of the night, I am debating picking up Golden Sun. Oh, that got really white. I am debating picking up Golden Sun right away or if I would rather pick up another book. And what would that book be? I don't know. I was thinking maybe Jade City since it's like actually on my TBR. Imagine that. And then I could put the rest of this onto my April TBR. If I'm still in the mood to read this on Monday or Sunday night, I'll probably just keep going on with this series because I, I got all the audiobooks from my library with no issue. And that like never happens. So I feel like that's a sign. But I also do want to read Jade City. But I think honestly what I would read before that is The Adventures of Amina. Like I think I would read that one first because I'm kind of in the mood for something a little sillier, a little lighter, a little cozier. This is uh, nothing cozy about this at all ever um, at any point in time. Even like the found family aspects are not cozy. They are life-threatening. <laughs> I really do highly recommend this series. I love this series. The first one, um, on my first read of it, I didn't understand why people would DNF it or they didn't like it because I blew through it, like I said. But now rereading it, I can kind of see why. Especially if you just picked up the audiobook. I could really see why. Because I think, first of all, I do think this is Hunger Games in space. 
but I think that there's like a Game of Thrones-esque thing to this school because it's not really that you're playing the Hunger Games by yourself. So it would be like the Hunger Games if it was teams that were kingdoms playing against each other instead of like you were all on your own one for one, you know? So I like it. I love the Hunger Games. I've been wanting to reread the Hunger Games, but I have reread the first two for the last three years when I was teaching. So I'm not going to do that. But I do need to read songbirds of s ballads of songbirds and snakes, whatever that is, because I'm ready for that movie to come out. Like I'm just ready for another Hunger Games. Anything. Would rather it was Haymitch, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. She didn't ask me, so that's fine. Um, but I'm gonna go sit down with this and wait for this storm to roll in. I really wish that I had stuck to my original plan uh, this week and I had gone to the store to grab rocking chairs because I really want some for the back porch and for the front porch. And I could have been sitting out there reading this on a rocking porch, looking out the storm rolling in, but nope. I have to sit in my house. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. I want to be out on the porch. <laughs> my heating pad is under here and she has located it. And she has been on this since probably 2 p.m. ish, maybe even 1. And she has So look at that tail curl. I'm sorry, I'm literally obsessed with my cat. <laughs> I just love her so much. Look at her. Oh, 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 okay. That's the dinner stretch. She's about to let me know what time it is. Which, yeah, actually, yeah, it's time. Two minutes, she's early. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the middle of the weekend readathon, which is going up as its own vlog at a time in my life. Because I need to be alive to do it, don't I? But I wanted to unbox the Alumacrate book that I just got, and then the Broken Binding edition of Priory and A Day of Fall Night. They're gorgeous. I'm gonna do like a little music softly ASMR moment thing because why not? They're wrapped beautifully and I am obsessed with them. But I need to just take a moment. Okay, here, y'all go unbox them and then come back.
got a Xana bath. <laughs> oh. This is just like a perfect day of sprayed edges. Sorry to interrupt that ASMR moment, but not that sorry. These are beautiful. Oh my god. Like, can y'all see how literally. how intricate these are? I don't know. Okay, right? <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? But look at this. Ginger. So we have these sprayed edges, these, gorgeous, and the, like, look at, this is just a day of sprayed edges, isn't it? Like, look how beautiful these all are. Like, this has to be in a thumbnail. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. I feel like, hold on, I'm gonna organize them and then show you guys, because I feel like these go together really well. So... We have, you know, ignore my dishes. We have these and then add that one on top and they like all tie together. Like these are so freaking beautiful. And this 100% is Annabeth. Like say hello to her. She's looking so cool. There's Ginger. Um, Jake is a more chill guy. He would be like, you know, the one that helps you train before the battle, but I don't think he's necessarily gonna be fighting, so. I don't know who he would be, but don't these look so beautiful together? I'm gonna have them just facing out. Um, whenever I get new additions, this is my reading sweater. I'm not kidding. This is my reading pillow. Again, no JKs here, um, but I'm gonna face these outward right here so I can just look at them. And yes, I do do that a lot when I get new books in. So we're gonna do that, but is, ugh, like, are you kidding? Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head, but it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Hello, everybody. So we have come to the end of our journey together, and now it is time for the wrap up. Here's the thing though. How many books? I I feel like I actually read way more than I thought I was going to. Oh, also, since this is going up late, sorry about that. Um, Had to take, well, we're having to take Jake. We haven't yet. It's in an hour and a half <laughs> to the vet because he's just acting where he's acting really like nauseous, not feeling great. So I'm same now, freaking out <laughs> as I tend to do. It's my only thing is chill or freak out. Like I only have two things. So we're obviously on the ladder and I don't want to start a computer. I don't know. The more screen time I have, the more anxious I get, I've noticed. So yeah, I'm sorry, but I love you. And this is up now. So forgive me. But also another vlog is coming on Sunday. So like double forgive me, please. I'm sorry. I'll film another daily life thing to make up for it. Everyone wants more of that, right? Is it just me? It's probably just me. But anyways, let's talk about the books that I did read. Why is Priest right there? Should I read that? No, not right now. Olivia, keep it together. Okay, two of the books I can't tell you about. They're a little bit of a secret. So I don't know if I read just the nicest couple in this vlog, but I did finish that on Monday. So yay, there's that one. Then you shouldn't have come here. Not so yay. Then I reread Red Rising. Yay. And then I had two more books that I finished, but they are in the vlog going up on Sunday. So if you're, you know, on Patreon with us this past weekend during the 48 hour readathon, you will know what books they are. If not, you will also know what books they are in two days. <laughs> so it literally doesn't matter. But basically this week I read five books. And I bet you more than anything, I'm gonna read more this week. So I'll see you next Monday and we'll talk, or next Tuesday, it'll be up on time on that day. But we'll, we'll talk about it then because I do have a feeling I'm gonna read more just because I am anxious. <laughs> but anyways, let me know how your month is going so far. How's March? March has been fine until literally today. So there's that. Um, reading wise though, it's a pretty solid month. I'm doing pretty, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Let me know what you read, what you're currently reading, any of the things. I will do a dog emoji to give Jake good vibes, please. Thank you. 
love you and um yeah that is it so thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon night wherever you are i'll catch you in the comments down below and in my next video <laughs> bye hear the birds and see the sun Lauren, Jesus, these books are so heavy, but also my posture is just bad, so it makes my back hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia reads a latte intro right here. I feel like that's honestly the vibe. <laughs>